52% of workers feel they're behind on retirement savings, and apparently these tips can help them catch up. So let's get right into the story. So many Americans are having a crisis of confidence when it comes to whether their savings will meet their retirement goals. To that point, 52% of working Americans feel they are behind on their retirement savings, according to a new survey from Bankrate.com. They may be onto something. There's a $4 trillion difference between the retirement saving workers will need and what they have actually accumulated T. Rowe price estimates. Perhaps surprisingly, workers' insecurity around retirement savings has not changed much since 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, according to Greg McBride, Chief Financial Analyst at Bank Rates. Admittedly, there are many obstacles that can stand in their way. If they want to save more, they can range from lack of access to a retirement savings plan at work to fulfilling other financial goals, like saving for big-ticket items such as a family home or a child's college college education. Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to have uh, two college uh, words right there. Or paying down debts like mortgages, credit cards, or student loans. Even so, experts say there are steps you can take now that will help boost your retirement savings long term. So kick up your savings rate. It can be tough to know how much is enough when it comes to your retirement savings rate. We tend to advocate for a 15% deferral rate, and that includes both the employee and employer contributions, said Lori. Latham, Senior Defined Contribution Strategist at T. Rowe Price during the firm's 2022 Retirement Outlook panel this week. That may come as a surprise to some workers, considering that automatic enrollment rates can be as low as 3% or less, if those plans have automatic annual increases according to Vanguard. Experts generally recommend contributing enough to at least get an employer match if one is available, and keep in mind, too, that you will need to save even more if you're also investing on behalf of your spouse. Of course, obstacles can get in the way. Bankrate survey found 39% of workers are saving as much as toward retirement as they were before the pandemic, and about 24% are saving more, and 14% are saving less, and the remaining 23% are not contributing. So the real scary numbers, right, is this 14% that are saving less and the 23% that are not contributing. So that's, what, 37% of people basically not really doing anything really towards their retirement? That is scary. And honestly, the the 23% is just purely scary. That basically means like a quarter of people are not contributing anything to their retirement, meaning that basically their plan Their goal is to be like, oh yeah, when I get to retirement age, I'm just going to live off of Social Security. That's not a great plan. If you're relying on Social Security for your retirement, that's horrible. That is horrendous. That is not a good lifestyle that you would want for yourself. And the thing is, it's not actually that hard to set up your retirement in a way to where you could have millions of dollars in your retirement account without really doing much. So those who are socking away less money cited reasons such as loss of income with 49%, extra expenses, 32%, additional debt, 21%, the desire to have more cash available, 19%, or helping family members financially, 14%. However, increasing your retirement savings deferral rates, even if just a little, as you earn raises or promotions, can have a big impact on your total savings over time, according to McBride. The habit of increasing the amount that you're putting away can go a long way, McBride said. So you can invest in an IRA if your employer doesn't offer a plan. One of the key reasons many workers don't save more is because they do not have access to a retirement savings plan at work. Just 64% of private industry workers have access to a defined contribution plan like a 401k plan, according to T. Rowe Price. So long as you or your spouse have earned income, you can open up an individual retirement account on your own and save that way, McBride said. 
For younger workers, the opportunity to save in a Roth IRA with money they've already paid taxes on could enable them to earn decades of compounded growth, he said. Now, there are limits to how much you can put away each year through either a 401k or IRA plans. So in 2022, workers can save an extra $1,000 in their 401k plans for a total of up to $20,500. The limit for traditional and Roth IRAs will stay the same at $6,000. So if you're age 50 or over, you can put away even more through catch-up contributions, an extra $6,500 for 401k accounts, and another $1,000 for IRAs. Which, by the way, right, if you have these things available to you, do both, right? If you could do both, do both, okay? Because this will allow you to literally retire a millionaire, right? These are one of the basically for sure ways to retire as a millionaire. Like, I'm not talking about like get rich quick or all that kind of stuff, right? Or like you can do this, maybe buy like Shiba Inu and end up becoming like a billionaire or something like that. No. Long term, contributing to a 401k and your Roth IRA can literally make you a millionaire after taxes. Just think about that for a second. And you barely have to do anything with it. Now, there are different ways that people can invest into a 401k and a Roth IRA, right? The way that we would do it would be putting things into like an index fund that probably trades the S&P 500 because it has a track record of basically returning annually over 10% or 8 to 10% annually, right? Meaning that your money is going to double pretty much every single 10 years, Right. So this is a way that you could basically consistently invest your money without thinking about it too much and retire a millionaire. So you could also consider working a year or two longer. So if you're near retirement age, another strategy to consider is working longer. Even a year or two of extra income can help bolster your financial retirement security, McBride said. The reason is more time you have to save and let your assets grow and less time that your money has to support you in retirement. So delay claiming Social Security benefits. Working longer can also help you delay claiming Social Security, which can significantly boost your eventual monthly retirement benefit checks. So eligible workers can first claim retirement benefits at 62, but will have reduced benefits for life. By waiting until full retirement age, generally 66 or 67, they will receive 100% of the benefits they earned, and for every year they wait until age 70, their benefits go up even more. So the difference between claiming at age 62 and 70 can be as much as 77%. You basically get a permanent pay raise every year you're able to delay taking Social Security from age 62 to age 70, McBride said. And that's it for this article. But a side thing about like this Social Security thing. There are different ways to really look at it, right? When it comes down to Social Security, right? For example, if you don't necessarily need the money of Social Security, it might be a better idea to just take it out on 62 because you can pretty much invest all that money and get more money than you would end up getting at the higher age range, right? That being said, it really depends on your situation, right? You know, personal finance is personal. So I would take it to where I would get the full benefits if you are relying on Social Security. But that being said, you really should not be making Social Security your main source of income. And the reason for that is because things change in terms of like government programs, right? Who knows how much they're going to end up paying you or who knows if there's even going to be any money left over for Social Security by the time that you actually get Social Security, right? So don't make that your only game plan for retirement, right? You do not want this to be your only source of income. That being said, again, personal finance is personal. And if you are 
relying on this as your main source of income. Wait till you get the full 100%. But again, please try to get a job or try to create your own business or something to where you have another stream of income, even a part-time job, right? Just because having one stream of income can lead to a lot of chaos and a lot of damage to your own personal life. By the way, if you want to learn how to get out of debt and manage your money and master your money, go to 40inbox.com.